You're still watching Ways. Now, everybody has a mother, and absolutely no one is more special than a mom, if I can say so myself. Sure, dads are really important, and grandparents as well, but however, moms are just the greatest. Often taken for granted, they are always our strongest supporters. You can't do wrong in your mother's eyes. Um, when you're hurt or not feeling well, there is no one else that can help you more than your mom. She will make that pain go away, of course, with the help of the health workers. Now, so we celebrate all mothers out there and say happy Mother's Day once again. <laughs> can I take you on that quickly? <laughs> when somebody sent me something, you know, wishing me happy Mother's Day, I was a bit confused. Yeah, there How are many, many times no, there are do many. we celebrate so th that's why we're Mother's special. Day in Nigeria? That's why we're special. No, I think there's one international the women, yes, one, and yeah, the and the American one, and, and there's the National to, Day for the uh, woman. Women. So we have plenty. We're special. Too. We need more than that. Uh. I think men deserve as much more celebration. Uh, excuse me, fathers work hard. And I'm sure all the men out there, you would agree that and you should be I think you're just trying to score points. No, no, I'm not just trying. It's the fact. Being a father, being a it's responsible enormous. father is, is, is a task. Motherhood is, is a precious, special responsibility, yes. But then I think we often ignore the men. We have about eight celebrating mothers, maybe just one. And even that one, most people are like, happy father day, day, and that's it. <laughs> no, I think men just need and to be celebrated And some women will actually celebrate themselves on Father's Day too. Yeah, single mothers, <laughs> precisely. I'm like, no, it's for fathers. Just give them that day. Okay, can we can we celebrate the mothers today and just let it... Okay, well, happy Mother's Day, ladies. Happy Mother's Thank Day to you. my mother and happy all the mothers, mothers out there. To and girl. to the wonderful mothers on the set. And the mother Thank to be. You. Yes. So, <laughs> so Sandra, Eze, what did you find for us in the news today? Okay, so uh, you touched a bit on this uh, during the show yesterday. However, that was, I think, like federal government or so. So mm -hmm. now, coming down to our own yacht people, Lagos State. So Lagos State government government has said that um, there are chances of Im Im imposing fresh lockdown if the residents con continue to disregard uh, curfew and the guidelines initiated to flatten the curve while going about their business, which part of it includes um, the vehicle, number of people to carry uh, in the vehicle, and then social distancing and wearing masks. A lot of us adhere to it, but it's crazy. Like the first few days, rather, okay, let's say between Monday to Thursday, the banks were crazy. Social distancing was F9. Vehicles were carrying full capacity. Half the population was not wearing masks. I'm like, are you serious? Yeah. Yes. Quite a number of people. We spoke about yes. it yesterday. Quite a number of people were people wearing masks. Yeah, they, I thought there was so a bit of you're wearing the mask. That yeah. You're wearing but the mask. You're putting using it on the chair. Yes, under you're the putting chair. it on your head. You yeah, know, but so. quite a number of people that I yeah. saw because I went out a lot during the week, but I ensured I had less of social interaction with people. I was doing mm -hmm. some inspection regarding my work, so it wasn't like I went to the office. So I was looking around. I think when it comes to the transportation, I didn't really say compliance. But for the mask, I said, but really, what did you think? Do you think Nigerians we're ready. will adhere to all these instructions? Mm. It's not possible. Legotion. I knew that we're going to, we're just having a break. I knew that another lockdown was going to be imposed. Mm. So I'm already getting myself ready. I keep telling my husband that there's going to be another one. So Absolutely. let's get prepared. Okay, going forward, so what did you Okay, so what I found in the news is there's another likely coronavirus outbreak in Bauchi. Oh. Now, why this is of particular concern to me is that um, this started in Kano. Then we saw Jigawa. I think Gombe. Mm. This is Bauchi. Don't forget that there are about 19 northern states. And if there's a, uh, is that a lot of people in the west, the southwest, we are not really paying attention because we think it's a northern problem. Don't forget when this coronavirus broke out in China, most people did not take you know, cognizance. Yeah, nobody, world leaders did not take cognizance of it. Everybody thought it was a Chinese problem. Now it's a global problem. Mm -hmm. I think the one in the north is going to escalate. Don't forget our fruits come from there. Our meat comes from there. Food. Food comes from there. Yeah. Everything, most of the things we eat comes from there. And nobody's paying attention. What is happening in the northern region? Mm -hmm. I think the shield, a health emergency should be declared. Because it's killing them in droves. Imagine a hundred people dying in a week, mm. and you do not, un and there's not nothing is being done. But I'm a bit scared. It, it's worrisome. Is it possible? I hear you, and I hear yeah. uh, the reports going on, and uh, you know, yeah. But is it possible there are other illnesses out there, maybe like meningitis? I'm Sanze. just, I'm yeah, just saying, because I've read a couple of things it's about possible. illnesses, and well, so, you, know, the first... you know, my brother died in, uh, you know, he was in Bauchi and all Sorry. of that. So, 
meningitis is also there's an outbreak of meningitis there as well in the north and it presents the same symptoms but why you know? not like carrying autopsies i for the first time in my life i mm. heard verbal autopsy in oh, nigeria about it. i've never heard about that <laughs> So well, why are they not paying attention? So for I, I think I'll just link my story quickly to what you've just said. So um, Covidiot had been raining uh, be, or trending on Twitter. on Twitter, and Covidiot is just an ideology of saying that we should stop being idiots. We should focus on what is important. And I think some two young ladies, Oiza and May, um, they did a video, you know, singing a song <laughs> about Covidiot and saying that stay at home, do a TikTok video if you have to. But keep yourself occupied and stay at home. Now, the reason I picked the story was because of my ordeal last night. So you were talking about people not paying attention. So even for me, yesterday night, going back home and seeing the police personnel, you know, not, not no, no mask. No, they were not wearing. Some of them oh, were not wearing. Right yeah, some of them were not wearing their facial masks. Do and they all really think they are immune to coronavirus? So that's, that's what we are saying. So at this point, it, I think it has gotten to a point where some people are thinking, first of all, maybe I am immune to this, or maybe they know something that I'm not aware of. Or maybe the kind of coronavirus in Lagos is different. I don't get it. So <laughs> it does not make any sense that we're saying practicing social distance, uh, I mean practice social distance, and the public officials, the time, and our security personnel are representing seen the repeatedly. government. Representing the government, we're seeing them repeatedly doing flouting the orders, do, doing all sorts of things that flout whatever instructions that the governor or the health workers or the commissioner for health or the ministry for health or NCDC is giving out. It makes no sense. They were talking to you. They expected you to wind down they, your glass. They told me to and bring they had down my, my window. They were not wearing their their nose mask. The DPO of the police station. It makes no sense. I had to put a call through to the PRO before eventually they let me go. I saw people kneeling down on the road, begging. So I know clearly those people, of course, for you to be kneeling down, it means you flaunted the rules and all of that. But look you at know, it. You're okay. not even afraid of your own life. You don't know where that person is coming from. These things we and said that... And a number of policemen are dying, you yes, know? Yes. They said even the cases we have in Nigeria, I think about 80% are asymptomatic. So meaning that there's no symptom, there's nothing. I was with, um, 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 what's it called, um, NASA last night because I needed to, to drop off some things to her. And she was telling me that a colleague of hers um, tested positive. She was asymptomatic. She was in isolation for two weeks. She tested negative, yet no symptom. Hmm. No sim she, so she was positive, she became negative, still no symptoms. So what are we saying if we truly want to solve this problem? Let us all work hand in hand and push these things out of the... If we want to flatten the curve, it's not, it's not a hearsay. I think the, what will work for us in Nigeria is herd immunity. <laughs> I think at the end of the I day, mean, for, I, I, some people will die, some people would. I think that is what is going to happen because yeah. some, of peop some people will naturally heal, uh, yeah. you know, because it, I mean, that's why I load those. myself with loads of Lots of, and, and, you know, and uh, quite frankly, I think I'm among system. one of those people who just find a way to make myself believe that, I mean, I don't, I don't believe I'm going to get infected, but even, there, even if there is a chance of it, I surround myself with so much positivity that I'm like, it, it, like I can't die because of this. I'm sorry, I'm, it, like my life just started. So um, I think it would help a lot, as much as you're doing all the things, social distancing, it's also important you work your mind. I know mind. what you have said it's about you will not die. On, yeah. But you but, see, your attitude, right mm -hmm. you're not hugging people you're not talking to people you're not going, you're out going when it's not necessary I'm, I'm, that's the I'm point i'm positive but i'm not being stupid that is it that's yeah. what we're saying so the be not don't be an idiot means that don't be stupid you can be positive minded you can be everything but keep um what's called safe principles and protocol that they have already outlined for us that's what we're saying mm -hmm. and it should start it should be seen across board our security personnel the leaders the followers everybody should follow it Strictly, that is the only way this curve can flatten. Mm. Okay. All right. So thank you, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've I've, run, I've finished my rant. So we'll now focus on Nigerian leadership. So Dr. Moise Banyere will join us right after the break. Please stay with us.